reports indicate that Ukraine has begun a counteroffensive to break the deadlock with Russia over occupied territory. The southern region of Zaporizhia, home to Europe's second-largest nuclear power plant, which has been shut down for months due to fighting, is one of the key frontline positions along the Dnieper River separating Russian and Ukrainian-held territory. Analysts suggest that the offensive will look less like a single big push, but a rolling series of local probes and thrusts. Ukraine has been working on extensive logistical preparations for months. Western powers have invested huge sums in military aid, training and other forms of support for Kiev with the expectation that NATO backing would embolden the military and enable it to make battlefield gains. There is growing opposition to the Western powers' involvement in the war and that the funds would be better invested in other threats, such as China. Russia has similarly claimed that Ukraine has begun an offensive and beat back advances from Kiev. The apparent act of sabotage that breached the dam at Kakovka released four cubic miles of water from the Dnieper into dozens of villages and towns, causing a humanitarian and ecological disaster and raised alarm among military analysts that it would slow down Ukraine's ability to move troops to the south and east. And